It's interesting, Juliana, we were talking about it that Danny Barres in the uh, in that speech said he wanted to go the distance, but he finishes fights, four KOs, five submissions in his 11 wins. So this going the distance is something ready. he usually doesn't do. And he looks like he's about ready to spring out of a cannon, too. He looks super ready. Yeah, he doesn't look, maybe that was all a decoy that's taking it the distance because he already comes out flying with that kick. Definitely. He's one of the most attractive fighters in Spain, actually. He was winning the Bana, Bama World Champion belt and had to give that up in order to come over here and fight for Combate Americas. But, uh... Pérez in the black shorts, and uh, Spanish fighters were struggling in Combate Americas. Then this guy comes along, yeah. and he lifted the flag, and it was much needed, and a breath of life into the sails of Spanish MMA. And why not Spain, you know? This guy's won all sorts of European and international uh, championships in different stages. He's, he's got the experience. Camilo shoots. It's a great First fighter all around, that but that's not where you want to be against Joao. Great ground game. Knows what he's doing there. Nice timing on that double. Beautiful. He did, came in where maybe, but clearly Bates was not ready for it as he goes for the Kimura. Looking to suck up a Kimura. Danny Barres doesn't have it. And Joao doing a great job of controlling on top. Looking to pass, maybe. Joao Camilo was asked by the matchmakers here about taking a fight, and he said, hey, no to a couple, but then they brought up Danny Barres, and he goes, that's the fight I want. Here he is with that opportunity, and he has the high ground as this fight goes to the ground. And styles make matchups. This is kind of like a classic striker versus a grappler type of match. Joao with the Brazilian jiu-jitsu background. And that's the thing. In other countries, they don't necessarily have that wrestling jiu-jitsu type pedigree. They're great on the feet. But once they get down to the ground, they can kind of sometimes be fish out of water. And that's kind of what you're seeing. Danny can't get back to his feet. Looking for a guillotine, though. Tucked it under. Mm. Has some traction there. Shoulder pressure. That'd be nuts if he got it. I know it that would, would I swear. He would. may have it. The head's almost out. It's now really squeezed on. Bench pressing his head out of there instead of shoulder pressuring. He's out. He's out. And that, that takes a chunk off the gas tank every time. I know. Talk about burning your arms out. Everybody's going for it again. I like to see that. Stubbornness. Yeah. So don't put that head in the wrong spot because Badez will make you pay. And Joao seems content to just stay in the guard. If you're going to stay there, then let it rain. Posture up, do some work. Either that or pass. It was great, Jorge. It all started with that sudden shoot that kind of came out of nowhere. And now he's, we're at two minutes and change to go in this first round. He's got that spot. No, definitely winning, winning this round. Bottom man needs to get up, make some space. This is losing right now, especially the way the judges see. If you're the bottom man, it doesn't matter if you're throwing up submissions. Juliana, what do you, you got to do to get out of here if you're Badez? We saw him kind of moving to his right, moving towards that left side, the weaker side of Camilo. You don't want to ask me. I always say the same thing. Underhook to a single leg. Sweep up the single leg and get back to your feet or reverse with a sweep. Um, but that's a lot easier said than done. You don't want to give him your back with a guy like this either. So maybe butt scoot to the fence and use the fence to help you stand up if you don't know how to underhook to a single leg. But you can't stay here. It's not a position where you want to be. He's been active. He's From the back, he's been active, at least attempting to find a better spot. Here he goes again. But Camilo doesn't let him go. Nice top control for Joao. And I like that. He's working. One twenty-five flyweight division has some big names brewing. Combate Americas has been developing fighters for that reason as Barez gets a little wedge underneath. Barez looking to set up a triangle maybe. You know, many of those fighters are watching to see where it goes with 125. Axel Osuna, who's been a phenomenon out of Mexico. Mikey Ray is out there in Oxnard. I know he's watching. He's certainly in the mix. Edgar Chaidez. Did you already say Axel, babyface? I Osuna? did. I know you love Axel. Oh, Alex yeah. Sandoval, Alberto. I love them all. Joby Sanchez, who was supposed to be the opponent for Barez, also in the mix. Somebody's bleeding. It's been here the whole, well, four good minutes on the ground as Camilo has walked it across and kept Barez 
with his back on the canvas. Stolen the round, Joel. This is the way it goes as Camilo. Again, the, taking the fight late, Ooh. setting the tempo, and doing the damage. Let's see if uh, Danny Barrez can defend the takedown here. You know what he wants to do. He wants to take you down. Yeah. Do not let that happen. He should happen. go right back to it. He's got to defend at all costs. Ready, ready, like his life is on the line. Exactly. Give up no takedowns. That's right. It's an incredibly serious way to put it because another round like that, and Badez may have a hill too tall to climb. But here we, it starts to play in the mental because now he's not going to be as quick to open up. Close the hands, the fingers are out, and they caught the eye of Joao Camilo. That's cool. Hey! <laughs> Don't turn it. Close the hands, cierra los manos. Almost like a defensive posture. It's almost like pushing him off. Because he thinks he's going to shoot. Yeah, he didn't know if he was going to shoot or what he was that, that was very telling, huh? He does not, you, you guys said it, he does not want to go that route again. And that might that might get him to be a little hesitant on the feet. Open himself for Joel. Baez looks good when they're upright. Nice. The shoot doesn't work there, and Baez gets on top. Half hard right away. It's time for a little payback. In half guard already, maybe he could go for it. Get a slight bit of position, side mount. Through that leg, and then Danny Barez, who knows what he's doing in these waters as well. Barez. Barez controlling Joao. Highly ranked in uh, Spain. He also was ranked number one in the United Kingdom and Ireland as a flyweight. So he's getting that experience throughout Europe and now here in North America. Definitely got a lot of pedigree behind. Definitely, and he's looking looking to work. You know, the, that's the difference. Here, Joao in first round was content to just hang out and yes. guard. Bares is not content to do that. He wants to pass. He's trying to improve his position. He's there in half go. guard and he's trying to work. And he's trying to strike as well. He's trying. To, he's definitely seems a lot more active on top than yeah. Joao was. Jorge, you agree that the activity from Bares on top, where Camilo was very stationary almost. Yeah, definitely. I would. I, I feel like he could pass the, the way that uh, bottom man is holding the half guard. It's a little loose. I feel like he could pass. An important fight in this division, which will blossom in 2020. Point counterpoint with the ground game so far after a round and a half. And he gets his guard back, Joao. Nicely done. Nice little right hand. Bades saying he felt great, well prepared. The change of opponent affected him psychologically. These are his words. But physically, nothing has changed after a hard camp. He didn't do it a whole second round, and he did enough. Crowd loves that they're back on their feet. Switching stances, catches nice. the leg. There we go. A little bit more pressure. I like what I'm seeing. These guys are starting to get after it. Juliana, when it's on, when they're on their feet, it's a good-looking fight. Good left hand by Camilo. There we go. Yeah. Mexican Beautiful. jab, Beautiful uppercut spot. there. Look at the Darcy yeah, one. Wow. The Darcy choke. Nice. Sit in on that. This could hit. be really bad. Oh, he's got a good look at that. Yeah, Sitting this on is that tight. Hit. This is nice. tight. Go forward with that chest. Dig your feet into the mat and go forward. Come to me, this way. He's got him Sorry. good, like the fish on the hook. Drop your chest. Drop look. your chest, come forward. He, he got a little coaching in there, too. That's impressive. He was getting beat in the grappling in the first round to come back and do this. Drop your chest. We don't see these kind of chokes. Got the gable grip. Don't see that a lot, but what a thing of beauty that when executed. That is so deep. Yeah, this would be some mission tonight. This is beautiful right here. He just has to cut his hips out. I got you, I got you. I got you. For a moment there, and Don Turnage came around to hits, see if he was okay. He's, you got it, dude. He just has to cut his hips. They haven't, they haven't expressed that to him enough, I think. Staying active, throwing blows while keeping the chokehold intact. Joao, come on. You got that single. Wrap up that single. Leg. I think Joao's a little tired. Must be. He's a little content to be there. Again, a fighter who took it on short notice. The, the, the fatigue comes in and it comes hard. Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice. wow. He has got. Joao needs to go forehead to the mat, face your opponent. 
and the wrestle Yep, you gotta get off your back, bud. Side control. The men's doing a great job. I hope the ref just doesn't stand it up. Right, don't get involved, let them fight. Such an active fighter, Barez. Nicely done, he wasn't able to finish that submission. Watch the spine. But still, he's going for it, he's attacking, he's active. There's a, a key lock. For a moment, for released. Kimura, or excuse me, Kimura Americana. Nice top control, need a belly from the scramble. Great round by Danny Barez. Keep passing. Corner should tell him 10 seconds left, just right. don't right. know right. Yeah. What do you got to lose, right? You're already on top? Good round for Daniel. It's one and one for sure. Yeah. There's no other way you can view it if you're a judge. Clearly dominating ground game from Joao Camilo round one, and Danny Barez showing you everything in the kitchen sink yeah. in round two. Have fun, it says on the chest of Joao, and it looks like he's having a good time in there. Oh, nice sportsmanship. It's all here. Again, so much at stake with what's happening at 125. Beautiful counter. Nice. Nice. Went strong for the draw. shoot. I think Daniel's going to open up. Uh, he feels he can stuff him now. Ooh. Big high knee. Pep. Joel. This is where that pinpoint accuracy striking of Danny Barez can come into play. <laughs> He's got the defensive takedown on lockdown. He yeah, knows his man is tired as well. Barez looks Ooh. as beautiful. fit as, go, any, as he has all night. Combination from Barez. He's opening him up everywhere. He's going up top to the head, going to the body. Oh, Liver beautiful. shot. Oh, gorgeous. Camilo's Ooh. tank is oh, empty. Man. Great left hand there. Hip in. Just beat him up. Yeah. Barez says get up. We're not yes, working down it. there. Nice. I love it. He just gets after it. McKellen, Texas, loving it. Just picking him apart from the outside. Danny Barres is striking is pinpoint accurate. And he's active the whole time. He's not sitting on his lead. Uh oh. Joao coming back with some stiff jabs. Beautiful nice right. right. Oh, Camilo really looks worse for wear. It's wobbling him too. It's target practice for Barres. Nice jab. Yeah right. Let go the shorts. Right now, as Camilo's got all his weight down on that arm of Barez, which will keep him at bay for a moment. The crowd not liking this so much, but it's activity. It's a great Nicely fight. It's a beautiful fight. Beautiful. Elbow. He's going to stop him right here for safety. Spanish here. Archer, yeah. elbow. Three of them. He's going to try to go for the submission again. He needs to cut his hips. Another combination of that Darce choke because he's got smallness. This could be problems. See, so for me, you have that head trapped. Almost. No, he's out. His corner's yelling for the darts, but I think it'd be better just to, to beat him up. Right. His arms might get tired there. Yeah. Win this round, because it will give you the victory. Yes. I think you can finish him. Just now. stay right there. Yeah, just elbow away right here. Nice. A lot of credit for Joao Camilo surviving what he experienced in round two and now dealing with again in round three. But he is going to have to have some kind of revival to turn things around here. Danny Perez looking at his corner, asking his corner, what do you want from me? He's saying, his corner is saying, just, just beat him up. That's just what he needs to do. Just keep it here. Score your points. North-south position. Joao trying to lock something up, it looks like. Still fighting. You can see beautiful, the exhaustion on his face. Nice. Look at him. Nice. Yep, nice. he's going to lock it up. This is beautiful technique. Problematico. Oui. That was a nice exchange of grappling right there from the top, man. Interesting to see Danny Barez with a tattoo that's headlined on his back La Vida Loca. No, it says Mi Vida Loca. Mi Vida Loca. Mm. That's better. Life. Nice sprawl. Going back into side control. Maybe a guillotine. There's so Try many it. options here. Sitting on that guillotine. Great nice. defensive fighting by Zhao Camilo. He's just a mean kid. There I love go. it. He's trying to hurt his opponent. I love that. 
Nice shoulder pressure from Barez. Joao having a hard time. His eyes are close a good portion of the future. He does. Have you been impressed, Joao? I mean, we saw the first time impressed. Uh, it's been better. Out of all the time that we've seen tonight, we've seen some impressive time. I really like this kid. He's just mean, you know. He, he, he's ahead, clearly, and he's still trying to finish the fight, and that's something that I love. You know, he's got a dog in him. Julian, it's been interesting because he's, he's, something doesn't work and he goes to the next thing. That Head may not arm. work, he goes to the next. This is what he won with in Abu Dhabi in uh, about six months ago. Head and arm triangle, first round. Didn't happen here, but he's looking to flatten him out like a pancake. Dropping the hips here, this could be it. Got he's looking like the black girl. Oh, for sure. He's got to get that arm out. That, 15 that seconds. Looks deep. Rear this is beautiful. Naked. This is beautiful. This is beautiful technique. Like an anaconda spinning. Nice big pool. Time to sprint. An absolute clinic yes. of ground fighting from Danny Barez. Keep going, dude. Short choke. Nope. La, 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 la. Que viva <laughs> España. Great fight. Great performance by Daniel. Performance of the night so far with the domination. He fought a very good guy on the ground and dominated him. He's on his back in round one. He was still working the entire time. Ear hole in Joao. He got taken down here by being uh, opening himself up a little bit but like I said he was going for a guillotine in round one he was ear holing him in round one he was working off of his back in round one round two was all Danny Barres nice sprawling brawl looking to suck in the darts wasn't able to finish it but that did not deter him because in round three he came back he dropped him with that liver shot ball. dropped him with that uh, left hook and just dominated from beginning to end Definitely all, all around much better fighter, better with the distance, the defensive wrestling, and the ground. He just took over. I think the wear and tear was too much for the Brazilian counterpart. Little showboating there as he had the opponent pinned down. The victor, the spoils. Let's get the official decision in this flyweight matchup. Danny Barez, we expect to get his arm raised here. Let's go in for the official decision and Lupe Contreras. Ladies and gentlemen, after going all three rounds, we consult the official scorecard to determine a winner. Damas y caballeros, después de completar las tres vueltas, consultamos a la tarjeta oficial para determinar un vencedor. El juez Maldonado, Judge Maldonado scores it. 29 to 28, 29 a 28, a favor de Camilo. Judge Escalona. 30-27 in favor of Bares. El juez Escalona 30-27 a favor de Daniel Bares. Y el juez Weiss anotó 29-28. Judge Weiss scores it 29-28. In favor of the winner, by way of split decision a favor del vencedor, por decisión dividida, de Valencia, España, Daniel Bares.